Would you guys, today we're going to be taking a look at an amazing new Edge feature. Now, if you want to use this feature called split screen, you're going to need to download the either beta channel, dev channel, or canary channel if you want to test it out. And the reason for it is because it's not officially released yet, but I wanted to show you this because I think it's an awesome feature which a lot of people will get a lot of use out of, in my personal opinion. So, what we're going to do is download probably the uh, Canary channel because this is updated daily and uh, this is the one I'm going to go for. It does work on Windows 10 and Windows 11. All you need to do is click on the download button, accept their terms and conditions, and then this will download the actual uh, Canary uh, version for you here. So I'm going to download this as you can see here. It's going to download the Microsoft Edge Canary version. So it's going to come down and it will open up in a browser and I'll get this set up and I'll show you exactly what split screen is and how you can enable it in this version so you can test it out. It's pretty awesome. So we've got the browser now installed on the system. And as you can see here, welcome to Microsoft Edge uh, Canary channel. And again, this will give you all the information about it. You can uninstall it if you wish and go back to the uh, default version of Edge if you wish. Once it's been officially released, you can uninstall the Canary version. So up the top, type edge colon forward slash forward slash and then flags. Push enter and this will open up the experimental settings for us. So once you're here, go to the search flags and type in here split. This will let you see the Microsoft Edge split screen option. You can see mine is set to default. So I'm going to change this to enabled. It should go blue. And now we can save these settings. And once this is saved, the browser will restart and open up. So once we're here, we need to go up to the top right hand side where the three dots are. Then go to settings and we just want to make sure that this feature is enabled. It should be enabled by default. Go to appearance and this is where you can change all your customized appearance. And down here, you should now see where it says split screen button and it should be toggled on and blue like that. And that means we've got this enabled. Now we know it's enabled, we can now go to a page. So I'm just going to go Google here. And from here, you can now see Let me just accept these terms conditions. And on the actual browser at the very top here, you can now see there's this icon that says split screen, which is going to allow us to split the screen of our browser. So let's go ahead and click it. And we can now split the screen and you should see something looking like this once we split it. There we go. So now we have two windows split evenly straight down the middle. Now you may be thinking, what can you do with a split screen? Well, you can use one for browsing and one for viewing, say, a video. So let me go ahead and set this up and I'll show you what I mean. So as you can see, we've got a video playing on YouTube on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, I can search the web, maybe search my website, or I can open up another YouTube channel or whatever it is I want to do on this side. Maybe I'm reading a tutorial or reading my emails or something like that online. You can do it all with this and you can also go ahead and check out my playlist here. I've got a ton of them or shorts, whatever it is you want to do with your split screen, you can do it. It just gives people on, say, for instance, a 1080p monitor, the ability to split the screen in the browser, which makes things a lot easier. This is on a 1080p uh, screen here, but on a wide screen, which is what I got, I get even more real estate on the browser, which is really good for using the split screen feature on a browser, which I think is pretty good. Now, if you need to search for anything on my channel, people always ask me, have you made a video on this? You can always go to my channel and do a search for say Windows 11, and it will show you a load of Windows 11 videos that I've done over the years. And you can see here, there's a ton of them. So whatever it is you're searching for, you can use my search feature on my channel itself, rather than searching YouTube, and it will give you a better idea of what content I've made for you and I've done tons of videos over the years so you'll be able to find exactly what you're looking for. They're also on my website as well if that interests you. Now myself I think this is a pretty useful feature for a lot of people. Uh, up the top here you do obviously have some buttons here switch between uh, linked and unlinked tabs. You also have these three dots with more options on them and you have the close split window. So the three dots gives you open screen in a new tab, split screen pages in two tabs and you also got send feedback there. So very, very useful for a lot of people, I think, that will want to maybe continue to watch YouTube 
and also surf the web at the same time. I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. If it has, then let me know in the comments section below what sort of uh, content you want to see, and I'll be happy to make those videos for you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I'll catch you in the very next video, or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Bye for now.